women around you that you care about. And just me even being here with you, Taylor, just your energy. You know what I'm saying? You always smiling. You know what I'm saying? You very polite and pleasant. And I like that about you. It's just a warm and spirit. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I talk you to death. No. I know I do. No. I because mean, I talk a lot, but I like talking I do to too. you. Yeah. So if I'm, so I always tell people if I'm talking to you, that means I'm digging you and I'm feeling your energy. Mm-hmm. If I don't talk to you, then that means I don't feel you. Right. And that's just what it is. So I like mm-hmm. it. Just being around women, you know, we vibing and we cool. So what, what y'all want to talk about? Because I can go on and on. Yeah, I know I could talk. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you want to talk about? Is- so tell me, my like, as a mom, like, yes. what do what's important to you? What has been your number one like goal, aspiration for your like, just to be a wife? You're a, you're a wife. I am. You are a wife. Yes, let's let's say. Hi. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Please. I've been. Um, yes. Oh, well, I am a wife. You are uh, a wife. Twenty-two years. Yes. Uh, Twenty-two years. Okay, we gonna ding, ding, ding. Hit this bell, y'all. Get a yes. little bit of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that good energy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, you a wife? You a yes. mom? Yes, I am. I'm all of those good You about things. to be a grandma? Yes, I am. Yes. That's, got a little, that's beautiful. Yes. I can't wait yes. to see you in your in grandma. Oh, Just in granny goodness. mode. Yes. I can't wait. You're going to have her out there playing in the garden wait. with I you. She's going to have husband out there in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> yes, our bundle of joy will be here at the end of the year, hopefully. So She might see yes. that in the January. Well, yeah, know. she's an Aquarius, a baby. Just whenever she gets here, it's going to be, be swagged so out. exciting. Yeah, you I'm know? excited. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Got the little girl coming. So just being a mother... Um, I have four beautiful children that I love so much. We love you too. I have a grandson as you well. Do. Yes. I don't know how Bra- you leave him out. Braylon. Yes. Braylon. Braylon. <laughs> yeah. And then like we were just discussing the new bundle of joy that's coming hopefully at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, And it's just a blessing to be able to see my children just grow. Mm-hmm. Very intelligent, smart. And just out here doing what you guys do. Yeah. You know, and I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think I have a little bit in all of you in that. So mm-hmm. it's saying that I think I did my job and you I did. think I did it well. You did. I know? mean, you to be honest, your job is you still doing yes, we and I'm still doing it. I know me and you grew up together and yeah. I was hey, like literally my main thing yeah. was taking care of you. Yeah. And I can always have yes. like like I always tell people when I brag about it, I always mm-hmm. say my mom, I knew it had to be hard for you. Because you were young. And that's yes. why I say we grew up together. You were 20 mm-hmm. years, 19 years old. Mm-hmm. And 20 years old when you had me. You know yes. what I'm saying? So you mm-hmm. were growing up figuring out how to be you and be somebody's mother. And you and I've never, mm-hmm. ever, ever felt like I was a burden for you. You know and, what I mean? Kiana, you, never. never. So never I appreciate no, that. Never. You know? You and, know, we grew yeah. up together. My job was to make sure I took care of you. Yeah. And, I, and that's what I did. Effortlessly. Yes. You didn't complain. You ain't talking about all. my. And I always tell people, like, my mama never, I can't get, I can't tell this day, can't get you to tell me nothing about my daddy. If I <laughs> ask you stuff, you'd be like, girl, you don't throw no shade at him. No. You ain't baby daddy bashing. No. You like, that is in the past. That's your I daddy. Don't, I don't need to do that. I remember you telling me, no. you get to know your daddy. You yeah. see what he about. Exactly. You didn't bash yes. him. You ain't say nothing mm-hmm. about this man. And even up until he passed, you just was like, yeah. I still, you ain't, mm-hmm. most women be letting it out. Yes. Be baby yes. daddy bashing, and you like, I'm sorry. yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Some water here, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, but excuse us, no, guys. This wild is crazy, complain. mommy. You're welcome to the table. Welcome to the table. We gotta keep it a little cool in here and make sure it's a little cool and the air is flowing because we ladies in here we get a little hot from time to time, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So, yes, but do. yeah, back to what we were saying, like, you know, you ain't never seen that the man I always admired it about you because I know it was hard trying to figure out how to be a mother, you know, yes, having a yes, child it's not easy. and mm-hmm. out here trying to figure out how to grow and, you know, just make right. it through life. You never complain. And I know, you know, things were probably times where you felt like it was hard because it got to be my heart. I always salute to women that have kids. Cause I'm not a mother yet, so I can't imagine how it is to have to, you know, figure out how to be somebody's mom and still figure out how to be yourself. Yeah, and the love that you have for me and my siblings, like, you love us, flaws and all. Yes, Highs and lows, good and bad, yes. ins and outs. When we at our lowest, when we at our highest, yes. when we just at a balance, you love us and you don't judge. You take us oh, no. as we are. And I always respected that and mm-hmm. admire that about you because I'm like, you know stuff about me that people will never know because you're mm-hmm. my safe place. So I feel like talking to you and letting you know about things, that makes right. me feel like, 
I have somebody that I can trust and that's you. So I always say, like my mom, they always say you can't have be a mother and be a friend to your child, but you prove that you can. Because I have a respect for you. Like I know yes. that you're my mama. But it's always yeah. mother first. Mother first. Oh, yes, mother first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mother what you first. Have to do. Yes. You have to remember that. You gotta have that it's level of respect. Parent first. Yes. Yeah. And I always know how to mm-hmm. make sure I'm being respectful, even when I be, you know. But like I'm being, I'd be like, sorry, my excuse, because I always want to make sure I'm being respectful. So I always okay. admire that about you, but you don't. But I just want to tell you that I salute to you all the time. People, you know, I'm very, very protective over you. And I know and that. If, and thank if, you so if, much. If you ain't rocking with him, I ain't rocking with him. Yeah, and I don't play that. about my mama. <laughs> I don't. Do I play? No. no. Yeah. No but talk ladies younger. So y'all enlighten us on the, what it's like. What is y'all generation? What they call y'all generation what? I don't know. Generations <laughs> X, Z. Y'all know. I, y'all tapped in all. Y'all don't know what they call y'all. Mm-mm, I don't. I, I don't know that they don't like it. our generation. Why? We, they think we're ghetto. What do they, they mean? Think ghetto. We're just, like too, too you know, much. Like y'all. This how I do stuff, and you don't agree with it. Like uh-huh. we like that type of stuff. Like we into oh, it. I don't that's, know. Oh my goodness. What? Well, no, I'm saying oh, she's saying yeah. they call you guys ghetto. Where did oh. they come from? The stuff that get posted on Instagram and all of that and mm-hmm. everything. So they've like this young generation is horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't, they don't, I don't think so. Yeah. I wouldn't no, say everybody just, no. just growing right now, yeah. you know, and all that. generations are you know are different. I wouldn't say you know, that. I wouldn't different. say ghetto. Yeah. 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 You know, I different. just think we and are young and you know, mm-hmm. they was doing stuff. When they was young, I don't know. It's 2021. I don't, I feel like some of the stuff that I do, you might think it's old and play it out and be like, what is that? And some stuff you do, I don't understand it, but I don't judge it, but I understand Mm -hmm. you're born in a different time. I feel like y'all technology kids. Everything is about technology Mm -hmm. and it's easily accessible. When I was growing up, I had to go and ask, can I go? see my friend and get dropped off y'all can mm-hmm. do a facetime do an instagram live chat this and that like yes. i feel like you guys really <laughs> don't have my my ex from my perception of it y'all don't know how to have like face-to-face contact like real social skills with people and mm-hmm. it's just from my observation because everything is so easy for y'all to get on the phone y'all get to do a skype or a chat and it's like that's suffice that suffice the need to see somebody you know mm-hmm. as for me i want to see you in person like you know how yes. i come over mm-hmm. even if it's for an hour i mm-hmm. want to see you in person this facetime is not just going to do enough for me do you right. feel like you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. like y'all want to just see a person on facetime or shoot a text and it's like oh that's good like i tell you like you can't call your sister like i gotta call you all the time like why i gotta always reach out to you like check on me i'm the older sister no. tap in and say hey sis <laughs> you good over there I know, but I mean, but i should have texted you and you like okay or i facetime you i feel like that's the only way i'm gonna see you because i can't catch up with you so y'all always on the go oh just God. living and i admire no the time. living yeah but it's like i feel like y'all don't slow down enough just to pay attention to what y'all got in front of y'all y'all just go 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 and then y'all look at us like we crazy when you just be trying to tell y'all to just like i tell you all the time sometimes it's cool to just sell and just fall back and just pay attention because mm-hmm. you you sometimes life can pass you by so fast because y'all the fast and furious generation is what i call y'all <laughs> y'all don't got no limit no limit soldiers just be out here living doing whatever reckless yes mm-hmm. impatient <clears throat> yes but it's a good in it because y'all in this crazy time like if you look at the world around us now it's so much chaos and chaotic but y'all get right into chaos with it so yeah, this, mm-hmm. but I don't think y'all ghetto. I think y'all just yeah, just I, don't, I, don't I wouldn't think so say either. ghetto. They say that though. They ghetto? say that, yeah. <laughs> well, Not ghetto. No. That's harsh. And I mean, ghetto. Y'all living. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't say ghetto, but like they people, you might they y'all might think I'm old school because mm-hmm. I like to go to bed at ten o'clock maybe. Like what is that? You know what I'm saying? Or even you go to bed earlier than that. Yes, I mean well, that's only because yeah. I get up so early. My day starts yeah. at five o'clock in the morning. Man, so I still you know, don't see how you do that, mom. Hey, at five a.m. I, I don't want to see nobody. I love it. No, you know, no, I, I do. do. Too. I, I love it. You like getting up early? I mean, if I'm struggling, I had a get job. Out, like so. I'd rather get in early, get out yeah, early, get up early. Like what's up at five a.m. Though that's when I start at five a.m. No, not five a.m. I feel like we need like at least eight i feel like it should be a law i feel like anybody about to be working all day every damn day either i feel some type of way about the work <laughs> like the system of the nine to five and that's another topic it's for another day every day all thing day you you're getting your days off 
Yeah. You yeah. know, so they be asking for you to work on them days off well, at these yeah. jobs. Want to work do. the hell out of somebody? Like I yes. gotta tap in and meet and take a rest. That's how it seems. Like yeah, they yeah. just want to work you, but it's like getting up early for me. It's a struggle. I gotta have coffee. Thanks, mom. You have Thank introduced you, you introduced yes. me to coffee. Yet. Yeah. What? What was I about? That's the start of my day. How old was I? I don't even remember. Ooh, you had to be a teenager. Teenager, yeah. Yes. And wine. Oh lord, well, you was this good grown, wine. <laughs> My 21st yes. birthday was lit. You about to be 21. We have birthday weeks. next month on the 10th. 21. Oh. Honey. Ooh, yes. <laughs> What's your sign? A Pisces. Uh, we, yeah, we, got about a, we got a Pisces, an Aquarius, a Libra, and a Cancer. All different zodiac signs. Yes. But we all got up. And so it's yes. good. It's the energy. Yeah. So we got a 20. You're going to be 20. What you going to do differently when you get 21? But like what you what you feel like because I know you like oh I can't wait to get 21 so what you feel like about to happen at 21 mm, I don't know I feel like I don't know I just every day I just feel like I want to do stuff better than what I'm doing now mm-hmm. you know I don't want to be stuck in the same spot like I know I feel like I'm young but at the same time I don't want to be you know wasting time you know mm-hmm. then get old mm-hmm. and then be like I wish I would have Oh yeah, yes. say that again. Yes. Waste time. <laughs> yes. I feel so, like some of this talks we be having. I feel like you be feeling. Do you be feeling it? When I, I feel be talking, you like I. Yeah. I know you just be trying to look out for me, and yes. I don't be mad or nothing. I just you know don't yes. want to hear it all the time. But I know <laughs> like you, my big sister, like you got the best interest for me. So. Yes, and you. But you be, sometimes do you see when I be if some shit happen, you be like, oh my sister told me about it. Yeah. Yes, because I'll be telling you, because I'll be mm-hmm. seeing the BS, and I'll be trying to school you because I didn't, like I yeah. said, mama was busy trying to provide to be a mama, and she didn't, she wanted, I didn't have nobody like, hey, girl, you look, you, you better watch out for this, that, and the third. So I had to run, run into a lot of things like growing up being the oldest. Mm-hmm. Like I had a lot of hurdles that I have conquered that mm-hmm. I just try to tell you, Martez. I didn't, and little Mark, like I didn't even tell him things about different stuff. We tell each other things. And like I said, I thrive off of y'all too. Cause y'all tell mm-hmm. me when I'm being too much. Cause everybody know I can be like, I'm the mean when I'm the cut off person of the family. <laughs> <laughs> don't I cut it off? Yeah. Quick. Yeah. Like I don't, I'm the no <laughs> yes. nonsense. Like I don't have time for it because people mm-hmm. be knowing exactly what they doing. And I'm not about to play with you. So I'm the person that's like, mm-hmm. I analyze it. Don't yes. I? I analyze it from the tea. Like, why did yeah. this person do this? Let me mm-hmm. see if it's me or if it's who it is. And then once I break it down and it's BS, right. I'm done with it. Yeah. Right. But I'll just be trying to, and I know you're going to mm-hmm. live your life and I want you to, but I just feel like I just need to, mm-hmm. you know, just sometimes just tap into it. It's all up. I promise mm-hmm. you. I'll be, I don't be as bad. You're not as bad, no. Not nah. as bad as y'all used to be. We so, love as, you. As, as, as we used yes. to be. Well, mama going <laughs> to be on you because she well, be on always me. always on you. Never stay mama, on you. She, you know? I mean, I think, I'm getting older, so y'all kind of chilled out a little bit. But do you feel like we do? Like, because I, I feel yeah, like I really I do chilled feel out. Like y'all chilled out a little bit. I don't call as much. I'm. I don't even Facetime as much. I, if you don't answer Facetime, I shoot you a text like she must be busy. Mm-hmm. I when that when you pick up and I see you busy, I be like, okay, then. But everything yeah. we do, Maya, is out of love. Yeah. You know, and, that, and that's all it is. We just want you to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. I hear so much going on out here Girl. in the world to wear. You know, you just have to be careful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. And I well, promise you, like all the corners you didn't bent, you been in it. I didn't already bent them a few times. So I always tell you, it ain't nothing you didn't did, honey. I probably didn't did it, but it maybe in a different way. All the little you think you, uh, I didn't did it, and I didn't hit so many roadblocks and had to take detours because I had to figure it out. So I'm just telling you, I want you to build your own map and journey through life. But I'm gonna always into even in afterlife, I'm gonna be there forever, ever. Like you gonna be like, what did my sister say? <laughs> yeah and that's all i want like for me yes. generational curses giving you something that i didn't have somebody to give me you know what i'm saying having that relationship because you're gonna grow you may be a mom one day you're gonna be you're gonna have a niece so we about to have a niece so you know what i'm saying yes. it's different things that you can instill in her and vice versa so i just really want the best for you and that's it and i'll be like let me leave her alone because i know she'd be like it's my sister because <laughs> i'll be blowing you up and i do martez yeah. too but you know and marky i don't because boys are different you kind of i check on them for different reasons but for you because you is like you're like the fast and furious of the siblings like you be out <laughs> and people be like i see your sister i'm like long as you don't even try no nope. 
Mm-mm. The Nighthawk. Yeah. That's what I call it. The Nighthawk. Yeah. You have people in your business like that, Taylor? Yeah. Like, you know, like just bothering, making sure you just like My mama. your mom, yeah. as she should. Yeah. I don't see no problem. It's irritating. Yeah. Like, yeah. why? Yeah. Though? Why do you irritating about it? It's not. Y'all gonna thank us one it's day. Like, yes, I'm trying to tell she you. She 25. I could be at my alcohol house. She always calling me. I'm safe. At least I'm at my alcohol house. And I tell her that. Mm-hmm. And she always calling. What you mm-hmm. doing, daughter? Or she texting? What you mm-hmm. doing? Or something? Yeah, because you know why you, know, you got we worried. We yes. be worried about y'all. Mm-hmm. Like I'm telling you, like mm-hmm. it's it's crazy out here, and yes. people prey on women, young women. You got these crazy men mm-hmm. that be trying to that too, or just in general, it's a lot going on. It's just for y'all safety, well being. Just hearing, like hearing your voice, knowing that you're good, is just it gives me a sense yes. of relief. You know and what I mean? Me. Yeah, That's don't all I you? Need yeah. To if I get the text or I get a call, I'm good. Yeah. Well, you, you, she, I, I had like, a curfew. I feel like we're going to be like that, though, when we get older and have kids or whatever. Yeah, but I, see, I always tell you, like, my upbringing was different. I had curfew. I had mm-hmm. chores. I was babysitting. I had to go to school. My phone calls ended at a certain time. It wasn't no staying the night out. It was uh, mama was picking me up with you in the car seat, Martez in the car seat. It did. <laughs> like it was like I had like a system and we did not. Like I had y'all yeah. got it good. Y'all gotta wash no dishes, very clean up. We're like, I had to do everything. No, we still gotta wash the dishes. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> do you wash dishes? Yes. What do you she still wash dishes. I mean, she washed dishes, she still has to clean up. You just don't live there. So right. no. you don't know. Well, I live, we oh, all yes. lived in the house together before, and I swear. What? My unit complains about changes. it. Well, like, you know, oh, they ain't washing no dishes. I'm complaining like about washing it, no but look, I took care of it. Okay, <laughs> so now she's the last one in the nest. Hmm. So she okay, she get it all. Like, all right, let me yes. do my business. Mm-hmm. Mind your so. business. They told me to mind my business. <laughs> so you do chores? You watch dishes? I mean, yeah. Like if I see, she don't have to ask me all the time. I, I mean, if I. Uh, okay. you know, I do it, take it for myself, do it. Now you do, because back right. in the day you did not. Well, I'm, I'm talking about back in the day. I'm talking about I right now. Back in, last the day. Week this. <laughs> so back in the day, <laughs> when she was about like 15, I said, 16. I took care of all of that. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I feel like she do her part. I had chores. Wash I had. her own clothes. Okay. I've been doing that, that though. Yes, yeah. you, yes, yes, you have. So. I guess the washing dishes yes. part for me used to be, I used to hate it because I, if I didn't wash dishes and I had to wash them before school. Mm-hmm. I did. You used yeah. to be like, wash them dishes before school. You mm-hmm. wash them dishes. She come yeah. in and hit that switch on the light. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> now you come me. in and switch the light look, up. <laughs> listen, she's saying all that, but how many times was she's always asking for something? All the time. What you mean? Can you can you buy me this? Can you do this? Can you, you do that? You talking about when I was younger? So you had to earn it. I mean, I did though, and then okay. I was babysitting. I was okay. Connie, remember I was Connie. So okay. I, I don't really remember that much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did. Yes. My, I'm not denying. You used to make sure I was good, but yeah. I just felt make like sure I had chores. Good. And it wasn't yes. a wiggle room and a curfew. Mm-hmm. Like if I had to be home at 11:30, it wasn't no 11:35. I was getting a punishment mm-hmm. if I walked in four minutes late. And maybe get a <laughs> ten minute call Back before. In the day, we just did things differently. I used to have a Times curfew though. Times has changed, yeah. you know. But, I did. Mm-hmm. Not twelve thirty. Look how you came. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm gonna get my kid that old school, like my yeah, upbringing, like they gonna school. have rules. And I get no <laughs> tablet, no iPads. When I say sit down and go to sleep, you are gonna go to sleep. Okay. Tablet ain't gonna be no tablet. <laughs> Cause it's just I don't know. It's just different. But that's the change. I think times with the change of time, that things change. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, it's it just is. generation different. Like everybody have different parenting techniques. Mm-hmm. I've noticed that. But yours mm-hmm. work good because you raised yes. me. Everybody always asks me like about me, and I'm like my mom. Like, I people don't think I can cook. Oh, yeah. you can, cook. can you please tell people my yes, on this podcast she, she that can I can cook? Yes, she can. People do not think I they're like you can cook. Can you tell yeah. people that I do domesticated things? Like yes. I do wash dishes. Yes, she do. I do know how to like put the gas in my car. Like people think I'll just be sitting here like pretty princess. Like no, no. I get she my hands dirty. Qualities in it. Yeah, I'm like people yes. don't think I know how to cook. They don't think I know how to like. I'm just sitting in the house. Like no. I get to scrubbing them dishes, mopping them floors, and do domestic things. And I always say I learned that from you because you yes. always make sure like you got a clean house, mm-hmm. like food on the table, like home cooked meals. Like yes. that's one thing I can say. I love to eat because I grew up with home cooked meals, yes. and it wasn't no little quick pop in the microwave. It was like you cut that cabbage up, them green beans, you got some chicken, fresh fried chicken. Like I love food, so I always tell people like I'm a foodie, so I want good home cooked food. <laughs> 
yeah so i don't know i just i'm thankful for like the good things you instilled in me and i always do that because like i think as a woman you need your mother your first example is your mother i feel like in life you kind of journey off and find your own way but the first example of womanhood and Mm -hmm. an example of what you should look at is going to be the woman that's taking care of you whether it's the mother or aunt or mm-hmm. some, because some people don't have their mother, you know what right. I'm saying? So I'm thankful for that, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So you showed me the basics of like what a woman should be. Yeah, like I said, you taught mm-hmm. me like to always make sure whenever I step out the door, I get myself together. Yes, you don't walk cool. out the house with no bonnets, no <laughs> scarf, and look in the mess. So yeah, you make sure. So for me, I, I don't mm-hmm. care if I just got to comb my hair. It might not all be in place, but I'm going to look presentable. Exactly. Yeah, and always I like the and class. And as you should be. Yeah, because I've yes. learned that that's the way I've always been. Yes. Like growing up, you always made mm-hmm. sure that I've always kept myself together. So that's a part of me. So yeah, I mean, I'm just thankful. Mm-hmm. Happy to have you out here. <laughs> we glad to be here. Yes. yes. Girls talk so, representing today. Yeah. yeah. Just talking about just life, mm-hmm. just just being a woman. What do you feel like some things that you when you look at your kids and do you ever look at us and be like, I damn I did a good job? Yes. Or do you feel like you're well, like you know satisfied what? All the time. or just All like the time. You, yeah. I wouldn't change anything yeah. about you or Maya. Mm-hmm. You know, I, like I said, I I felt I've done my job. Do you feel um, like it's oh yes, like most you... definitely. I'm very proud of you, both of you guys. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't take anything back. Um, my sons, I'm very proud of them as well. You know, I think that it's hard, but if you do your job as a parent, this is what the outcome is. Yeah. You know, you got to take that time. You know, mm-hmm. to to raise your kids and make sure you. You know that they, they had that good upbringing, yeah. so, so be like, respectful. Like for me, I always mm-hmm. tell people like I think I'm a way that I am because of the things that I'm accustomed to. I always say <laughs> you're whatever environment or mm-hmm. certain things that are instilled in you as a child mm-hmm. that kind of carries you through life. Yes. Now I do believe because I know for me, I my younger days I was on the Hennessy side of me. I become green tea, okay. And Namaste, and then I'm all of that. Like Namaste incense, but I used to be Hennessy. Sometimes I gotta go back over to the little Hennessy. (laughs) Try, (laughs) but most of the time I'm on the green tea on the green tea side. You know, Mm -hmm. I do believe that. So, what do you feel, my like? As a as a young woman, what do you like? Or what are some of your goals and dreams and aspirations? Or what you feel like you want to do? Like as you're about to be 21 years old, you're going to the. I always feel like once you hit 21, it takes off from there. Then you got 25, 30. Then mm-hmm. after that, it's like you're going and going and going. So what do you want to do? Like what goals do you have for yourself? I just want to be successful, and I just want to be you know financially stable. And now you I like just... your money, man. You play my bets. <laughs> Keep posting. Um, listen. No, like I just want to continue to grow, and I feel like I'm in the right, going in the right path, and I just want to. I just know I got a lot more stuff to learn about, so I just feel like eventually, you know, everything gonna work it out, work itself out, and you know. (laughs) So you feel like just being around, like it's beneficial having a sister that's older, having your mom still. She's a mom, but she's Mm. still hip and dope and still able to you know kick it with you like she a girl but she's still your mother first like i buy you that like i can sit here and talk to you and have a conversation with you like you one of my friends but i still have that respect so don't you feel like yeah i feel like having older siblings period is just you know a good thing for me so you sit back and watch us and be like, oh, they bumped their head yeah, or they right. did this. Yeah. yeah. You better take no. I tell mm-hmm. you, please use me as an mm-hmm. example. Okay. When I'm mm-hmm. telling you, I'll be like, take this little notepad and be like, no. Yes. Nope. Yeah, I do. I took things like I've watched mama like the way she do things. I'm like, oh, my mom do it like this. So I'm going to try this method. You know what I'm saying? So you pick mm-hmm. up yeah. those. You know what I'm saying? It's a good. And you're supposed to take the good and the bad as examples of mm-hmm. people. Like take my flaws too because I ain't perfect. So my job is not to be the perfect sister, just somebody that's able to help you and guide you in places. That's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. What about you, Taylor? <coughs> like, what, do, what do you feel? Like what do you want for yourself? Like you're 17. What grade are you in? Um, 15. <laughs> Wait, why did I think you were 17? All um, time? I always told y'all I'm a sophomore. Girl, okay. yeah. where did I get 17 from? I'm supposed to be 17 so bad. <laughs> yeah, look, like you put, look, putting you two ages up, yeah. right? Yeah. Please, no, you're not going to. Are you just turned 15? No. Yeah, in March. Oh, March. So you got okay. 2016 coming. Yeah. So you, can't can't wait. you did tell me. You was like, I'm a sucker. I'll be. I don't know why I always thought you were 17. What high school are you? I go to um, River Rouge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
It's a good school. All right. Now, what so do you, far. So do you, what do you want to do? Like, where do you have any, like, any career, like, wanna, any goals you want to do? Yeah, I want to be a nurse, but I don't know what kind of nurse yet. And okay. I want to have my own business. So, like, okay. on my off days of being a nurse, like, not mm-hmm. going to work. I'm gonna mm-hmm. do my business. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, when it's good Stay to be, with you, it. You got yes. the entrepreneurship and you can do it because I swear yes, I wish yes, I had. Like that's the one thing about mm-hmm. me that I wish and I try to deep dive into like have, being an entrepreneur because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's girl you don't want to be working for somebody. I got a small business right now. I make picture keychains and all of that. Tell us about it. Okay. Why? Why we don't know about this? Because <laughs> I about it. Like, can we? How can we purchase? Oh, you can just text me or something like, or send me the picture that you want for your picture. Tell us, train. like, tell the world, like, what, like, is there really? an Instagram or Facebook? Yeah, like, tell my them Instagram you know. is uh, Taze Creation. So T A Y Z K R E A T I O N. And you make keychains like pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. The yes. letters, numbers. Well, yeah, that would be that y'all all see. That's a good yes. start. Yeah. yeah. So we'll make sure you guys go to Instagram and check her out. Yes, we got Black Girl Magic all around this table today. Yes. Yes. So you say you yes. want to be a nurse? Yeah. Okay, nurses. It's all. It's a forever, forever career. Yeah. But I just don't mm-hmm. like. All the blood and stuff, but I, I feel like as I'm getting older, I can, okay. yeah. So, and I watch yeah. TV shows and mm-hmm. about right. all of that, yeah, like the, like the uh, medicine show, yeah, like the doctor, okay. my yeah. 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 yeah, 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 let a good doctor love uh, Chicago oh, PD, good. all of them, yeah. yes. yes, stick with it, yeah, always. And I'll yes. say to you, and Taylor, you and Maya, like for just advice for me. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. I'm what? I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking. that I'm wine that get over yeah, here. You need a little more? It's cold. Yeah. It's okay. Get the little refill. We got a little refill. We got time for a little refill before we wind down. It's almost time for the wind down. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, ladies, for me being so much older than y'all, in fact, I'm, I'm old enough to be both of y'all mom if I was out there being. Yeah. I could be both of y'all mothers. <laughs> I always tell you guys to always. Be yourself, individual. So don't be a follower. Mm-hmm. As you go through life, collecting people, friends, associates, mm-hmm. make sure those people are of value, and it's an exchange of energy and reciprocation between the relationships. Because back to what you said, wasting time. Mm-hmm. I did so much time wasting when I was younger that mm-hmm. in my thirties, I feel like I'm on a sometimes on a treadmill trying to catch up for the wasted yes. time that I wasted. So mm-hmm. I say that to both of y'all to say. Find the tunnel vision and focus on one task one step at a time and make sure that you're doing things, something that you want to do, not what people are telling you to do. Follow yes. your goals. Your This is your life and you have to make the best of it and start now rather than later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Always make some time for love because don't nobody want to go old and alone. I'm sorry. They tell women to just, oh, you folks to focus on career. Yes, you do. Mm-hmm. But you also mm-hmm. need to also have that space to have that, you know, the type of life you want to live, mm-hmm. you know? It just make when you collecting people because always say it's a collection through life you collect people mm-hmm. and people collect you. good people mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yes uh, it's people. gonna be all kind of people but make sure mm-hmm. that the energy is reciprocated on both ends yes. you guys are feeding each other you know what I mean mm-hmm. and make sure yes. they have good intentions because I would I was a collector of people that I needed to let go mm-hmm. so yeah and I always say that and just just make sure you're a leader you lead this you sell your own shit and make sure that it's self gratification and things that you do and make sure that you're a decent human being and you move in integrity and I'm telling you like I say this all the time but what you put out into the atmosphere is what you'll get back it yes. ain't don't mean it's gonna always be easy but more of mm-hmm. the time you'll be favorable for you than a loss if you mm-hmm. put out into the atmosphere what you want mm-hmm. back it'll feed you and I mean how you treat mm-hmm. people how you move what you do integrity is the one thing that nobody can take away from you That's right. so when you got integrity and you move in a decent Wait, you know that you ain't out here being shady or malicious or just mm-hmm. out here shisty, mm-hmm. then the energy, you know, the universe is going to pay you back. And I always tell you that, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's okay to, you got to know when you, it's time for you to just be let go of stuff. And I always tell young girls that because I feel like so much time now, social media raise y'all. You got Instagram, you got reality TV, you got all these things showing y'all how to be a woman and y'all lose sight of what you really and who you really want to be. Right. I grew up in a time where we went on Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> what was Instagram? Right. Facebook. So I had to create my own swag, yes. my own style, my own fashion. That's yes. why I tell people I love who I am mm-hmm. because 
I can't imagine trying to fit into this little bubble of society right. telling you you're supposed to look like this and be like this. That's BS, yeah, that's you know, right. because most it of them is. people not even happy with themselves, yes. to be honest. So at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you make sure that you know you got integrity and you move it and you doing what you got to do and life will be what you make it. Yeah. And I preach this to you all the time. And tell you, you sit here with me every week. Yeah. <laughs> and I learned this from you, Ma. This is just me learning from you. Uh, yes. Like Most I always definitely. say, if you taught me nothing else, you taught me how to be a survivor yes. and to be strong mm -hmm. and to make sure that I'm a decent and human being. Not yes. saying I'm perfect, but to make sure that before mm -hmm. I do something that is not good, I think about that possible good outcome you right. know what i'm saying so yes. i appreciate that like i always say you're and the you green team well i me. can appreciate the that you listen yeah i do you know i know i was it was i was a rebellious <laughs> oh, i yeah. had my time yes you have yes but, but i look always how you turned out yeah beautiful i don't give and myself like enough said, credit would, and i'm gonna do a break i wouldn't today. take take it back for nothing in the world yeah thank you you know i'm just grateful and blessed that i was able to instill that in you yeah so, and working on you Yes, yes. <laughs> she got a, working on you. So yeah. yes, yes, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. So you know, Often we're, we're black women. So yeah. and just women in general, it's be hard strong. being a woman. It's hard. Yes. We go through, don't y'all feel like some days like woman being a woman going Especially, through the things we go through? Yes, some period. Cramps. Girl, I listen. <laughs> no say, every well, month it feels like the first time. Yes. yes, and I've had a trillion of these. I know. Okay, <laughs> and every month, ma, don't I complain? All when you when I talk to you, I'll be like, I got crap. I can't I get crap. out of bed. I hate <laughs> it. Like, and men act like it's no big deal. I'm like, if you had a uterus, right? And it was expanded from here to ten bucks two every month, <laughs> and you had to take care of yourself, <laughs> oh, yeah. like a bandage, like you putting, a, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, if you really want to go there, TMI, but that's what it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I hate it. Like, I'd be so irritated. Like, that is the worst. And just being a woman, the things we have to deal with, you know. And it's Are, so much. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so much, yes. Like dating my you, uh, the dating for you. Ooh. You've been married for what? Twenty some years. You ain't twenty two years. It is savagery. Y'all yes. know the set. Well, Taylor, you know, because you're fifteen. I figured I don't know why I was thinking <laughs> you at seventeen. So no. Taylor's not dating you. No, no, not yet. <laughs> Somebody like you because you're beautiful, but nah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but y'all, no, but Maya. See, that's one thing I don't know. You, your mm -hmm. personal life is your personal. That's what I got to pinch it out of you. Mm -hmm. Like I got to pry. <laughs> gotta almost stalk you to see what you got going on. I'll be like, yes. So what do you say like dating? How is dating for you guys though? I feel like it's a waste of time. How do you what do you I waste of time, but I feel like people waste your time. Like it's a lot of, you know, they want to text for a few days and then go ghost or like Oh, that don't stop. Let me hear mm -hmm. tell you. I'm in my 30s and um, it's the mm -hmm. same. When I was single, I uh, you used to be around when I was single and I used to be frustrated mm -hmm. and irritated and agitated. I, I just feel like, I don't know. I ain't dating nobody right now. Single, single? Yes. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Bit. That's what I call it. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dating is crazy. Like, I, I, I don't know like why people just want to be like my age they just be out here like they winging it like they got mm -hmm. time to play like it ain't chill back season mm -hmm. yeah i think for it's it's just people don't look and value love marriage and stuff like that anymore they feel like it's just a temporary fix that they need you know mm -hmm. everybody's just looking for that temporary satisfaction mm -hmm. until they get cold outside and it's like cuffing season then everybody mm -hmm. wants to snuggle and cuddle because yeah. it's almost cuffing season mm -hmm. you don't know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I listen to my older cousins. They talk they, about it. Yeah, they talk about it. Like, right how there. old are they? Like, what age? 20, 30, 40? She just turned 20, and the other one turned 19. So, like, your age, right? Okay. And they be saying yeah. the same thing she's saying? Like, so people don't be telling, saying how they really feel. Like, yeah. they are just, I don't know. Like, I really don't know how to explain it. For so, real. they tell me about yeah. their little relationships. And I just be listening to them because I'm cousins. the dictionary of the family. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Everybody up. talks to me. Everybody. So, they be dumping all their problems. Like, you are yeah. 15. That yeah. is like right. trying to And I just, and they think I'm like 17 and all of that, all of it because I'm so mature. So, yeah, yeah. they are. just talk to me about everything. And I just be there to listen. So, they just come dumping you all their man problems and girl problems. Are you telling me <laughs> what somebody did? somebody to talk so, to. Yeah. Therapist. Well, that's what it is. That's yes. what a therapist is. That's why I say this yeah. every week. Therapy. 
clinically like, trained oh, clinicians can yeah. sit there and talk to you while you as long as you're paying they listening yes they come so. and dumping all this on you and then they gonna have you see that's how that toxic stuff get passed down mm -hmm. she's 15 years old 15. like she needs to be living yes. her life taking some pictures and some selfies or reading her a book or try to get her a scholarship <laughs> to college somewhere sitting back doing her turn her paper for her final or whatever right. not sitting back listening about the traumatization was, of the life of a 20 something year old that's crazy. taylor are you listening or you're or you're not really listening yeah. i was listening so <laughs> you like listening. No, i'm talking about about your cousins yeah i okay. listen to them i listen to all of them all right yeah. that's okay. crazy i was thinking if i can't be a nurse then i'm gonna be a therapist because i okay. always there you go. yeah, yeah. You feel like might as well get paid for your service. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Start charging them now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, if you want a session, $20. That's right. You get a 20 minute session. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel like we everybody want to vent. Every time I be want to vent, I be like, no, I don't want to call nobody. We I know that, mom, don't we? Oh, well, yeah, because she, she calls be. us, right? Yeah, all, <laughs> all the time. The time. <laughs> y'all pick up, don't y'all? Yes, we do. And I even come over with a bottle of wine no, sometimes. Yes, you do. It ain't just me all the time, <laughs> but that's yeah. it. That's well, we all. It's just me all the time, Vicky. Most of the time. You know. I'll be yeah, trying to get you to vent, but you don't want to tell me oh, your business. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, do you got some business? You don't tell me. <laughs> then you got to get to talking to her. Mm -hmm. She had a little glass of wine, right. and she be like, okay. <laughs> she open up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what? what? Youngins at the table. It's yes. good to keep our guard up. Yeah, yeah, you got okay. to. You gotta yeah. keep your guard up. Well, you, I feel like 15, you really just, you ain't, girl. These little mm -hmm. boys, they be trying to run game? Yes. At 15? Mm -hmm. In high school, especially. That mm -hmm. game be, how do they get? <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know how to approach you. They don't know. Are how they, how they respectful? Know. Like, do they have it's respect? Like, hey. Do they, they have trinkets and gifts? Like, do they bring Ooh. something to you? So like, like, hey. What was yeah, they? like, hey, hey, or something like I'm that. I'm telling yeah. you, I promise, like, grown men still WTF, or what is it? <laughs> With WYD, what you doing? Yeah. Or SUP, suck, suck, like, yeah. suck. Like, yeah. I promise y'all, it's grown <laughs> men that have texts. Like, when I was dating, when I was single, it was grown men that were with WYD. Like, mm -hmm. are you, how old are you? Right. He don't spell yeah. it out. No, yeah. they don't, girl. I'm telling you, like, I promise, like, chivalry is like, it's trickling down. Like, if you find a man that has, like, the need to just want to have a complete sentence when they text with you you got to appreciate that because it's always some emojis or something that's kind of they send it like i'm not an emoji don't talk to me an emoji that's irritates me i hate emojis unless it's like a heart or a smile or when they think they in a gang or something they text you with all that type of they text gangs, gang percent? they be like say let me think about something <laughs> i forgot but like they text takes you, you like if you be like cool, like you know how I spell C O yeah O L, they be like, or they put a K instead of right. a C because okay. they have like blood K. or something. Yeah. Instead sure. of the C, they put K or like yeah B. You know, like, yeah. That's crazy. Like, <laughs> not the not the not the not, uh, that's. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all y'all a different generation. <laughs> I always say y'all y'all the fast and furious because listen. The music you be playing sometimes, I'll be like, some of it I'll be vibing to, but some I'll be like, huh? But you'll be listening to some old school too. Yeah, I like she the old school some that she listen to, but all mm -hmm. that other stuff, I'll be like, uh -uh. I, I can't get with it. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, ladies, Not at it all. Was good having y'all. Good Ooh, having y'all at the here. table. Taylor sitting here. Thank you for what you, you do welcome. every week, girl. We probably run you crazy with these pictures we be having you take. And I do take a lot. Girl, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but I do, like, girl. I know how it is because when people take yeah. pictures, they have like, uh, delete that. Yeah, like I don't want that. No, I don't like it. I'm very, okay. very, very, very strict on that. Like, let me see this picture because people will post them both for mm, you. Yes. Like, that's, it's picture etiquette, picture posting etiquette. Like, at least make sure I look decent. We mm -hmm. equally look decent in the picture. Mm -hmm. Don't post nothing but you're looking fly and I'm looking through. Mm -hmm. Like, I hate that. Yeah. So, you, I have to really, like, double-check yeah. pictures. So just make sure exactly. I like what I look like because it's me. Mm -hmm. And Maya, thanks for spending the day down here out of your busy day. You're welcome. Because it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you out. And, Mom, um, thank you for coming. You're so Having welcome. some wine, I told you. You got your favorite red wine. Yes. Thank you for that. Yes. Yes, so thank you guys. I yeah. enjoy having you here today. Um, again, we want to say happy birthday to James. Hope yes, he's. I know you're watching, James. Hello. <laughs> I know he's watching. This is baby, so he yeah. like <laughs> he po you supposed to be chilling, enjoying your birthday, and kicking back. I hope you enjoying it, my brother. Like I said, enjoy your day and hope everybody have a good 
Sunday. And we will see you guys next week. Anything you guys want to say before we go? No, just thank no. you for having us. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say, Mike? No. Tell you want to do no shout outs? Uh, shout out to uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Ciao. See y'all.